So this is an unprecedented time for Scotland, for ourselves as a service, for our partners, for the whole of the UK. And we've been working quite hard over the last 10 days to put in plans to ensure that our staff are safe and that we're able to provide an emergency response to people who dialed three nines and require our assistance. As a service, we've taken a number of steps to protect our staff and also members of the public, such as stopping home fire safety visits, aside from the very high risk ones, and limiting um, access to fire stations to essential personnel only, and making sure that we don't attend any events external to the fire station, including some of our training events. This is to ensure that we protect our staff, but also are able to provide a 999 response and be available when we're required. We continue to work to attend every 999 call that we receive. And we've got robust plans in place to ensure that should we have staff absence and our highly trained operations control staff will assess the calls that we receive to make sure that we attend the ones where we can save life or we can prevent significant damage to buildings or property. So they'll make that assessment and we may eventually have to place calls into a queue so that we attend them on a priority. But I can assure you that for every 999 call where you need our response, we will attend and we will do everything we can to assist and to save life. To minimise the impact on our emergency response during the course of this pandemic, we're looking at ways to invite people who've recently retired, firefighters and others with specialist skills, to come back and cover any predicted shortages. I've been blown away by the number of people who have already contacted the service and offered to come back and cover those shortages. There will be more on that soon so that other people can volunteer.